Hey guys, and welcome back to part 3 of the Eternal Cylinder Beta. The following footage was recorded during a live stream, so you might notice a bit more wacky shenanigans during the playthrough. Enjoy. Can, you, can I touch the big rolly? Let's try touching the big rolly quickly. Oh, wait. No, give me my rocks back! There we go. Let's give the big rolly a big touch. Actually, now that you mention it, there's a bit of a glowing green thing over there, so that might actually be worthwhile. And one thing I do need to do more in this game is just check out- Oh, hello. Wait, that did something funky. <gasps> I'm stealthed! Ew. As I was going to say, one thing I do need to do more in this game actually is just eat everything, just, just gorge and figure out, you know, what various things do. <laughs> yes, I got a- What's it called? A dimatic trunk. Ooh! Right, something tells me I'm gonna want the hoppy one. Oh wait, what's that? Freaky brick thing. And the music changed. You know if the music ever changes in the game, right? It's, it's, it's about to get- things are about to happen. <laughs> it's always scary when the game changes, or the music changes. Oh. Huh, see ya. Right then, so what do we have in here? First of all, water. I do need more water anyway. We've got that freaky thing. Oh, what is that? It's new. Right, I'm going to chuck this one at, in fact, what I can do, which would be a lot easier. If I go into my inventory, I can actually switch things around like this. So, Annie, I want you to have this. There we go. And then select Annie. So what is this then? Oh, the eyes bulging. It never gets old. Mineral processor. The mineral processor mutation is constantly refining minerals found in its inventory slots, transforming them into units of refined material that can be used for various purposes. Be mindful of what you absorb in this treadmill, as this body will automatically process any minerals stored inside it. I'm betting that works. The rock thing we found earlier. The hard shell thing, maybe? It's got a mineral icon. Let's just go ahead then and chuck... Wait, hold on. What happened to what happened to her head? Oh no! Annie's covered in tubes and tentacles. Annie became I I can't say it on stream. <laughs> Annie became Forge. I'm just gonna say that. She became Forge. Organic tube forge. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it looks horrifying. Okay, let's switch some things around then. Let's switch that around, let's switch that around. Does it matter what order they're in? I don't think it does. Cool, all right then. What happened? Annie turned into an organic tube. <laughs> it truly is Annie. So what else then? So we've got, oh, we've got more mineral, we've got block mineral. We've got many block minerals, excellent. Is there anything else then? I am really low on stamina, there we go. We've got more crack dust. That always makes me happy. Is there anything else around here then? Can, like, I know I keep on saying it, but I do just love the environments. Like, these little caves here. Just take a moment, like, to appreciate the lighting. <laughs> that one just went for a swim. The lighting, all the little objects hidden away. I know the camera's a little bit awkward to turn around sometimes. But you gotta admit, man, it does look, like, really, really cool. I feel like caves are, like, a kind of feature that a lot of games tend to lack. Like, spore? I, I don't know why, I just love caves and I think spores really benefit from them. Oh, we've got more mineral things, excellent, right. We can eat that one. So that's another one of those hard-shelled things we got earlier. And... Right, that's one of those healing thingies. Uh, who has the healing thingy? I'd rather stack it up on the same one twice, and it is Guy. Guy is the, what, is the holder of the healies. Who is down here, of course you are. No, come back! Oh, can I have one at a time? Oh, that makes sense, actually. So in that case, just eat all that- Oh, I ate it! Bollocks! Well, it's a good thing I've got a second one now. I thought it was another red trepanite, and this one, you know, TLDR, a red trepanite has a restorative effect on a trebum, briefly accelerating cell regeneration. I thought it'd be healing it again. Because, you know, it's the same icon. But that was a blue one. 
Fragments in the Trevon memory cluster suggest that Trevon scientists believe that this organic compound found within meteorites plays a significant part in the creation of life in their world. We've already seen all of that. Blue Trevomite has a hydrating effect on Trevon and was once a popular cocktail ingredient. I can't imagine these things getting drunk. I want to see what Trevon society was like, man. It sounds so wacky. Well, this is positively bright and painful. Let's go select Amni. Speaking of which, hello Annie, welcome. Wait, get, get back. Annie, welcome. Uh, this is you. You've become organic tube. You're, you're very pretty, by the way. So what do we have in here then? Just more of those uh, gem clusters. Oh, and I'm breaking to the universe. Oh god. Hey. So this is one way we can just avoid the cylinder. It's just stay in the cave and have it come over and it'll be fine. When the culture hero Naka finally reached the edge of the underworld, a guard sent by the evil king stabbed her in the heart with his spear. Ulrch, the worm of the bone caves, whom she had befriended, made a new heart for her in the f from this rare and precious mineral. She lived, and when she returned to the surface, she could no longer be killed by any ordinary weapon. Thus, she overthrew the king and brought freedom to the Trebum. But because her heart now belonged to the underworld, she returned to the depths and was never seen again. What? I mean, that's... that's actually really cool. This could be the result of a highly specialised microorganism, or it could have been done deliberately, perhaps to protect them. That's... that's actually really cool. So far, the general vibe I've gotten is that all the lore in the compendium is, you know, just gives like random information regarding like the um, whatever minerals or organics that you find, but that one's actually like a bit of a story. I wonder if that's going to be important later on, because so far it's just a mineral, you know, we're just slowly breaking it down. <laughs> the great worm, exactly. I should activate the pillar and then run it and then instantly run to the caves and see what happens. Ooh, that's an idea. In fact, I think I just saw the game save. So, I mean, look, if we if we just saved, there's only one, you know, one reasonable thing to do, isn't there? Uh, hey, Mr. Chonka. Oh, hello. Right, so, you know, you know, you know, this is, this is, we just saved and everything. Uh, I kind of want to find out. Oh, actually, would I even be able to get there in time? I don't think I can because the boundary is right there. And the hole is right next to this uh, cylinder. Let's give it a go, though. You never know. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hello. <laughs> God, I hate it so much. No, 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 no. Fear. Go away. Bad, freaky mouth giant. Right, where can I get the most linear path back? That one's got a bit of water there. Wait, get, get out of my way. I don't think... No, I can't. This is all in the water, isn't it? That'll slow me down. Right, where is a more direct route I can take then to activate everything? Probably from here? I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, there's no, there's just no way we're making that. Oh god, yeet. That may have been actually a big mistake. Yeet! I'm gonna lose my friends, aren't I? Where is the next tower? That may have actually been a bit of a mistake. Oh, that may have been a mistake. Why did I listen to chat? On the plus side, the, the, I mean, you know, let's just take a moment here to enjoy the, uh, the beautiful landscape. Oh, it stopped. Wait, did it stop? Definitely not. No. There we go. Now it's back on again. And we've got another freaky egg thing. Oh, that's a shame then. So we may, we potentially may have like, you know, missed out on anything there. Any little uh, trap to find or... Oh no, he died! Oh, he... The little death icon. So depressing looking. Ah, okay. Note to self: don't listen to chat again. <laughs> uh, to be fair, it was actually a good try. 
It's just if the cave was like not directly beneath it, I think that would have been possible to, you know, check out. But unfortunately, uh, it just wasn't on our side that time. Oh god, Annie's growling. Annie, Annie, Annie just growled at me. Stomach. The stomach meat represents your party's food and energy level is divided into two parts, the stomach and the energy pouch. I don't know why, I find that kind of disturbing. So basically, this is where the actual survival part kicks in. We have to eat. And eating alone isn't enough. We actually faded, have to... The Trebum started feeling weak and tired. With all the excitement and adventure, they'd neglected their most basic needs. The sound of an empty stomach reminded them that survival requires more than escaping from danger. You also have to eat. Luckily, one of the many gifts of the Trebum is the capacity to store food in their bodies. But they still need to digest it to gain the vital energy that gives them strength. And for such small creatures, they do require rather a lot of food. Thankfully. The, the chunky ones got was plenty. Rich in flora and fauna, which would satisfy their little bellies, without necessarily triggering a mutation. Right, yeah, I was just gonna say. Fortunately, uh, the chunky one there has already got like so much uh, mushrooms and shrooms in its inventory, so we're kind of fine in regards to the food department. If we check the upper left-hand corner, wham! If you check the upper left hand corner, you can see that the uh, the hunger and energy bars are actually full. But this is where the whole survival part kicks in. Now we actually have to worry about food and energy, and if we don't have enough, then things happen. I have a freaky bug thing. Right, I like Annie. I like how she is. I'm going to give it to... I, I need a fourth one, man. I don't want to change uh, Frost. Actually, I might be able to get away with giving Frost a new, a new thing. Uh, Frost, mate, you have it. Oi. Take my regurgitated worm. Oh, I got two of them. Oh? Water processor. The water processor mutation is constantly processing ingredients found in its inventory slots, transforming them into water. Note that this does not extract any nutrients from them. Be mindful of what you absorb with this trebum, as its body will automatically process any organic ingredients stored inside it. So basically, we now have one that just produces water, the other one produces uh, minerals, and the third one is fat. I I'm not judging. I'm, I'm just saying what it is. The trebum were excited by this discovery. This new mutation would allow them to extract water from ingredients that were otherwise quite dry. But the voice cautioned them to be careful. More water was useful, but this process would not extract any nutrients. They would have to use it carefully and wisely. Well, that's fine. We've got so many mushrooms anyway. I think we're pretty decent in that regards. I mean, I mean guys, guys, look, I'm, I'm just being... Observant. I love how I, I love how wacky they all look. I love the sunrise. Hello. So now Frost is a bubble a bobblehead. He looks guys, look, doesn't that right there just look like peak performance? Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> right. Oh, just look at the sky, but I, I know I keep on mentioning it, but it does look amazing, doesn't it? Right, what is our objective then? So our next objective is that area over there. However, I see a little hut thing. I believe they can be an egg somewhere around here, or actually, no, there's a trap them inside it. Hello, Gutu! Gutu requires minerals and a melon. I, th I think that's a melon. We've not had any of those weird melon things yet, have we? No, so I'm assuming if we want to get Gutu, of whom we will absolutely rename, we need to try and find something for him, but I've got no idea what that could be though. Mate, this game has got far too many mushrooms all over the place. <laughs> so what do we have? Oh, we've got freaky, weird licky egg things. Oi, oi, come, come back, I'm gonna kidnap you. There we go. Hey friends, so uh, this exists. Look at his lovely face. What is what is Frost doing to it? It's like rocking it around. <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh. What the hell? 
They just knocked me over, little poo heads. Can I? Take this. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, why am I rolling around the place? Why, hello there. <laughs> yes. Levitate up the rock. Oh, Jesus. Okay, then. Where's he coming? Is that like a secret path up there? It looked like it. And... Yeet! Ow. My ankles. Ooh, hello. Why do these insects have their, like, skulls split open? I really don't like that. Now then. So... The original one, the fat one, already had- I'm gonna call it Chonky. The Chonky one already has uh, webbed feet, so that's one foot mutation that I don't really want to overwrite. So Annie is gonna be a hoppy one. There you go, Annie. Now you can hop. So we just got the leaping legs, and now Annie can also jump high. And we have this. Hello, friend. TV. Requires one mineral crack dust deposit. We can do that. Wait. Hey, hey, friend. Wait, do you, do you not want my crack dust? I mean, I'll, I'll get some more for you right here. Let's just quickly get, get the rest of it. Okay. Tooth. Toothy. Oh god, I'm too bouncy. Damn it. Okay. Chonky. There we go. Now it worked. It wasn't working the first time. Right, so let's actually enter a name properly this time. What do we want to call this one? So who here is sweet and colourful and looks like a melon? There you go. It's Stormy Snooter. Close enough, eh? We now have our new friend Stormy Snooter. Right then. Meanwhile. Okay, Stormy Snooter, it is time for- Oh, what is that? It's a rainbow. Compendium. Tell me about it. We've got an iridescent pearl, a pearl-like accretion found inside the shelled grollosk formed around a strange organic sac. This this wording, man. <laughs> Aesthetically pleasing despite the smell. Wait, what? The shelled grollosk only abandons its shell for the sake of food. So wait, a pearl-like accretion found inside the shelled grollosk formed around a strange organic sac, aesthetically pleasing despite the smell. That's a roller coaster to read. Okay then. Uh, well, Amni can process the pearl. I know Annie likes shiny things after all, so she can have that. And Stormy Snooter, or oh, and also um, Frost can have the blue trepamite, which gives extra water. Stormy Snooter can have jumpy legs. <laughs> these names. I absolutely love these names. <laughs> there we go. So we've got the chest. There's like no switches, no secret things I can find anywhere. So I think we're pretty much done in here, aren't we? I love like all these little exploration bits like here and there. I don't know what it is, man. Like This is the kind of things I just love in games where you're like, oh god damn it, I eat. I love these things, right, where in games you just find those little secret hidden areas and oh my god, I cannot jump to save my life. Oi, get up. And boing. Boing. Oh, no, that failed. What was that? Stormy Snoot is having a great fun time, isn't it? There we go, boing. Boing. And yeet. So what happens then if I just yeet the pearl at that? Once again, don't listen to chat. <laughs> Alright then, next time I'm just gonna eat the pearl. <laughs> Let's get some food. I think we need some food. And on that bombshell, we'll call this episode to another end. Thank you all very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Cheers.